when people are looking at she the the version of she believes cup 7.0 right for for the united states women's national team they're going to be looking the storylines are going to be looking at the this next gen roster who who's going to be getting starts right who's going to be getting their number called throughout any three of these matches and they're going to be looking about they're going to be looking at the opposition that this team yeah. is going up against right because even though there's been a lot of conversation about who's in right and who's not in camp right now for this roster going into this tournament the other side of that is they're going up against uh you know some teams that have not participated in a she believes cup tournament before so there's these two different angles that we're taking so in terms of this roster in front of us and the three matches that will take place. Are there some absolutes for you, Lisa? Like who do you think you absolutely want to see time from in a, in a kind of a rapid fire, you know, quick round Robin style kind of tournament like this? Okay. So it's who I want to see or who, who I you want to see? to see. You're, you're the coach. I who love when I get to be the there? coach. I love <laughs> when I get the whiteboard and the marker and I get to be the coach. Yes. Thank you, Sarah. I've been dreaming of this moment. I want to see Morgan Gattrall. I want to see her get time because she's a player, a midfielder for Chicago Red Stars that has spent a lot of time with the national team camp. And over the last few years, she really hasn't been called in. And this is uh, the second time she's being called in by Vladko Andonovsky. Uh, so I want her to be rewarded for her really good midfield play with Chicago Red Stars uh, at the club level in the NWSL. And I want to see how that translates, especially because when you look at the midfield crew that he has called in of the seven players, um, a lot of them are not as experienced. I mean, they have the experience and they have the caps, but there's no Sam Lewis. There is no Lindsey Horan in this mix. So there are... Not, not the typical starter that Black Wendonofsky usually goes for. So I want to see Morgan Gattrall get some minutes in the midfield. Um, uh, even a, a Christy Mewis, because she's someone that's kind of come in and out of Vlatko's camps and starting lineups and getting consistent playing time. So I want to see why he continues to keep her into camp and, and see if she can get minutes. Um, and, and then up top, I love this forward group that he brought in. I love it so yeah. much. I know we always talk about defenders, but this forward crew, I am just so hype about Ashley Hatch, Mallory Pugh, Margaret Purse, Trinity Rodman, Sophia Smith, Lynn Williams. This is a attacking six group that any combination I think could be very, very lethal against opponents. They're all incredibly fast. They can all score goals in a variety of ways, shooting from outside the box, header goals, getting in behind back lines on quick transition. There's just so many possibilities. But because Trinity Rodman was named in the training camp leading up to She Believes Camp and then called in, the first one called in after Abby Dahlkamper uh, when decided she was not going to come to the She Believes Cup tournament. Trinity Rodman was the first one called up and called back in. So I want her to get time and I want her to get minutes to kind of show that she can compete and she can hang with the big kids uh, at the national team level. So those are particularly who I'm looking at. Sandra, for you, I mean, from goalkeeper all the way up to the forward line, uh, I'll, I'll hand over my whiteboard <laughs> and my marker for just a minute before I'm going to steal it back from you. But who do you want? Look, I love I love being first assistant. It's a it's a role I <laughs> it's a role I find I thrive in. You know, I'm I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you 100. percent I think when I'm looking at each of these games, right? We're particularly this first game against Czech Republic. Why not put Trinity Rodman out there? Why not? Just just why not? Like, let's just see. Like, the, you're talking about you know a gradual development for a very young player introduced to the senior level national team why not give her you know 30 minutes against in the second ever meeting against czech republic for the first time since 2000 you know it's like why why not like what's what what would be the reason not to other than you know an, an unfortunate you know late game scratch or something due to you know the, an injury but uh i would love to see uh all of these forwards in some capacity get time collectively over the course of these three games. I want to, con I want to see the continued development of Margaret purse mm -hmm. across that forward line in some capacity. I believe that 
towards the end of 2021, we saw a shift in getting her pushed higher and she's been doing enough to not relinquish that position that mm -hmm. while she was kind of in the mix and sort of maybe being in one of those uh, high attacking outside back roles, she has now, I think shown enough to sort of snatch, you know, a role in that mix in that conversation among the forward core. So I want to see the continued development of Margaret Purse over the course of these three games uh, within within the attacking line. I'm with you. I want to see Morgan Gatra try to, you know, uh, be the be the captain of a midfield that's full of of players who uh, are going to be getting, uh, you know, maybe first time experiences in, in the midfield, maybe not so much, uh, you know, uh, alongside a Rose Lavelle or or, or uh or Christy Mewis, but any mix of these players that are a Howell, a Macario, a Sanchez, a Sullivan, how are they going to look, you know, with somebody like uh, a Gatra who has been there, you know, with this team at this level before. And in terms of the, you know, defensive back line, I don't know. Are we going to see Emily Sane actually play in the center back position again? It, 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 they had to, you know, go through some rotation here to sort of see how things look. But I do know I, I want to also see the continued development of Tierna Davidson at that uh, as part of that center back duo, however it looks throughout the duration of this uh, She Believes Cup. And I think we got to see how Alyssa Nair is still doing in that based off yeah. of that uh, injury, right? I, yes. I mean, yeah, I, I think that having a listener in camp after she suffered an injury early in Tokyo and didn't play at all the rest of the NWSL season, wasn't called into camps anymore for the United States, just really rehabbing that knee injury she suffered. Um, she's back on this roster, so I don't know if she'll get a full game or full anything like that. That's the my only hesitation because yeah. as we talked about, these these games are not – super crucial in in the international fifa rankings of the game they're crucial for player experience to get caps for different players for uh those types of things for black Wandanovsky to see different player personnel i want to see Aubrey kingsbury formerly bledsoe uh washington spirit goalkeeper i want to see yeah. her get minutes i was gonna um, say there's there's three games you think we might see three different keepers that's a good question i'm gonna go with my gut and say no yeah as I much as smart. I would I think like you're smart to, and wise to say that <laughs> as much as I would like to say yes, that we are going to see three different keepers for three different games. Yeah. I don't see that happening, especially Re just the history of black and and how he rotates his goalkeepers. <laughs> yes. No. Refra if, if, I rephrase, if I rephrase the question to say, would you like to see? Yes, <laughs> of course. I think it would behoove Vlako Andonovsky to play all three of them in game minutes, but he's very much a play a player. And if they do very well, reward that and keep them in because goalkeeper is not a position that you can really rotate around that much throughout the match. Um, I have a, another question for you, Sandra, before we kind of wrap this one up. We talked about getting players minutes. Now, do you think it's more or less beneficial for these players that you want to see, Mallory Pugh, Trinity Rodman, Gatral, even Emily Sonnet in the center back, to get a start at these positions or just to be rotated in throughout the match, even at like yeah. the 60 minute mark, 50 minute mark, even no, think, at halftime? I think that's a, a great question. I, I think there's a, there's a number of players on this roster, right, that have been attached or tied to those uh, Australia friendlies, right? The ones that they close out their calendar year with. And I would say any of the players that have sort of been in the mix of these camps from that November 21 camp in Australia. So I want to see full games from particular players. I wouldn't mind like split minutes for someone like a Trinity Rodman again or, or a Howell who are still getting into the mix mm -hmm. of things. But actual starts and developing 90 game minutes beginning to end, I, I want to see that from a Margaret Purse. I want to see that from a Tierna Davidson. I want to see that from a Sofia Huerta, you know, because she's yeah. someone who's getting back in the mix as well but was coming off of the bench. How is she looking with this team from minute one to minute 90? I, yeah, I, would, I would love to see that. It's a different vibe as a player. If you get the start, right? If you're in the locker room and or at training the day before and coach comes up to you and says, listen, you're going to get the start. It's a different mindset. It's a different confidence level for these players. And you do get more time on the pitch to kind of fall into the game when there are certain players that are very good off the bench they they are and that's their role to play but if you want these players to be ha like become a starting role per position you have to give them starts and the she believes cup is the per perfect place to do that